What's up guys, Stitch Productions here, and today we're going to be looking at another custom Godzilla figure, that being the Arctic Figures, Zilla. Now this figure was designed by Arctic Figures, but I actually got the files downloaded from Cults 3D, and then I had Ruby Studios actually resin print it for me and ship it to me, but I realized I kind of wanted a nicer paint job and I'm not as experienced with painting Godzilla customs. So I commissioned um, Artie McFly 30 to uh, print uh, paint this figure. And here's the result. And my God, what a nice looking figure this is. Now, Zilla, if you guys don't know, is basically the 1998 Godzilla, but not. Um, a lot of people didn't like that movie. I actually haven't seen it yet, so I can't really give my opinions. But um after that movie came out toho decided to keep the character and use it as a like bootleg copy of zilla godzilla named zilla and i honestly love that concept i would love to see zilla somehow used again uh to fight godzilla i, I feel like he's the ultimate like copycat thing like how you know lions and tigers like how they exist you know similar yet different but i got this figure painted to somewhat look like the um, Godzilla um the Godzilla IDW comic where he actually appeared in and I am such a big fan of this paint job it looks amazing and I'm so happy with it granted the paint job will probably be different for every person's figure but for mine I'm very happy with it because it's almost exactly what I wanted. It makes him look a bit more like a mutated iguana, which is the look I kind of wanted. And also even makes him look a bit more Showa type. And I even had his eyes painted. Let's get those details. I, he has nice red painted eyes, some beautiful teeth and tongue, and some pat and some fading and dissolving of colors all throughout his body. And I'm very happy with that. Now let's talk about the print quality. Honestly, it's pretty good. Very similar to Rizcan Custom Toys Customs. Some good quality resin, printed pretty clearly. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh, satisfied with both the paint and the, the paint and the print quality. But what about the articulation? So the figure actually has pretty good articulation. Mouth can move up and down left and right can't look too far up and not too far down arms are a little poseable has some elbow has i don't i don't feel that good about touching those has a swivel here can kick forward and back not too far back not too far forward has some has a little bit of knee not too much but can kick forward pretty nicely. And the tail is highly articulated. Now, I will say the difference between this and a figure, I guess this is a good comparison. This here's a here he is with Gorosaurus from Rizcan Custom Toys. Uh, this is made with elastic cord, this is made with wire. So I asked Artie McFly 3D to actually Built, put this together for me. That's a big thing I di didn't like about um, Arctic Figures did. On the Colts 3D page, it doesn't really say anything about how to put it together, so you're just left guessing. But a YouTuber suggested Artie, Artie McFly, and I just decided to cut, DM him and say, hey, could you put it together and, and maybe paint it? He gave me a really good price, and here we are. And, you know, he suggested using the wire because it lasts better longevity-wise. I haven't experienced any problems with the elastic, but I do understand that, you know, a pla elastic can deteriorate over time. But for the first size comparison, here he is with Gorosaurus, and they look great together, honestly. If you guys haven't seen it, there's a really cool video of the two actually fighting. Um, it's called, like, Gorosaurus versus Zilla. And this is actually pretty cool to see together. 
um and i feel like they look great i definitely think considering getting another one and having it painted in more movie colors but after gorosaurus here he is with gigan show a monster and he looks honestly he scales pretty well with um sh monster arts figures but now let's bring in some haya toys figures here here he is with the skull devil another good another good size comparison all right and here he is with godzilla versus kong kong and here he is with the G-Man, my Haya Toys Godzilla. And the scaling um, is pretty accurate to what I'd imagine. I wouldn't really imagine the Zilla being the same height as Godzilla. But, you know, I'm going to eventually get some more Godzillas. I'm going to get the Heisei um, Haya Toys figure. So hopefully that will that will scale I will scale in a different way. But yeah, overall, pretty good scaling with everything. I do know Arctic Figures intended this to be SH Monster Arts scaled. So yeah, but overall, that's pretty much it for the figure. I mean, I'm overall pretty satisfied. I know there is some drama with Arctic Figures. I am sad to say, or glad to say, or I don't know. I don't know what his drama is. So if you want to educate me in the comics, be my guest. But I'm just judging the figure, not on it, the artist. I'm judging the art, not the artist. And from what this figure is, it's actually pretty good. I like it a lot. Um, the the one thing is, um, some I I do think Rizcan's designs are a bit better, just because uh, I feel like they have a bit more posability. But overall, I think the posability, if I, I wanted to use elastic, might have. Like, I don't think that would improve anything, but it's still pretty good. I highly recommend this figure. If you have a resin printer, um, you can definitely print one yourself, and I do recommend that. And if you want someone to put it together for you, because believe me, I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. Artie McFly is an amazing and talented artist. Ruby Studios prints out stuff for a pretty reasonable price. And, you know, Arctic Figures does have other things on his Cults 3D page. So links to all those are in the description below. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.